search engine optimization for your Squarespace, Shopify, or Wix website. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com, helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. In this video, I'm speaking about how you can improve your search engine optimization if you're using Wix, Squarespace, or Shopify. Now, these are some really popular platforms that I know a lot of my subscribers use, but you can identify these tips and use them on your website as well, even if you're not using any of these platforms. But my first major tip for search engine optimization for these platforms is to make sure that the content on your website is organized. Now, these platforms in particular make it really easy for you to organize the content on your website into different pages, menus, sub menus, and you can even categorize your articles and your products. Now, I highly recommend that you take the time to do this. Whenever you upload a new product to your Squarespace, Wix, or your Shopify store, make sure that you actually put that product in the right category and you categorize your products in terms of what they are. So for example, if you sell clothes, you might have a category for hats, a category for scarves, a category for shoes. Major search engines such as Google, Yahoo, and Bing are super focused on user experience. The more organized your website is, the better of an experience your website site visitors will have because they can access your content easily and this in turn will help you to improve your search engine optimization. My second tip is super simple but super effective and that is to submit your website directly to Google, Yahoo and Bing. Now you can do this by going to Google Search Console and go into where it says site maps and submitting an entire map of your website directly to Google. Now Shopify, Squarespace and Wix have made this super easy for you. All you need to do is once your website is published and live, you need to enter your website URL and then forward slash sitemap.xml. Once you've done this, you submit that to Google and that will submit an entire map of your website to Google. You can also do the same with Yahoo and Bing by going to Bing Webmaster Tools and you can submit your sitemap in the same way using the same URL. This is not only just a great way for you to let the search engines know that your website is live, but also if the search engines are having any major issues with indexing your website, this is a great way for them to let you know within your Google Search Console or Bing Webmaster Tools account. So make sure you register for both of these. My third and final tip in this video is to try and make sure you're generating links back to your website. Now, these can be links from other websites and these can also be sh social share links as well. But you want to make sure that you're getting high quality backlinks back to your Squarespace, Shopify or Wix websites. Now, how can you do this? I'm going to be putting out more videos in the future about backlinks and how you can build your domain authority by generating high authority backlinks back to your site. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss when those videos go live. But a few major tips I have for you is number one, to guest blog. Now, guest blogging is basically when you contact a blog that potentially has a higher domain authority than yours or that's been around for longer than yours or has more of an establishment than yours and you can send them an email or contact them and ask them if you can contribute a guest article to their blog and by doing so they can actually leave a link back to your website in the author bio section. This is a great way to build up the authority of your website and gain backlinks. Another way to gain links back to your site is to be active on social media. So for example, if you have a blog post or a new product, don't just post it on your website, but also share that link out on social media. And the more that link gets shared around, that is increasing the social shares back to your website. The more 
authority links that you have pointing back to your site, the more of a thumbs up that you get from the search engines as an indicator that your website is trustworthy and of high authority. Now I've spoken about building high authority websites and I'll leave links to those videos in the description down below so make sure you go and check those out. I also have my formula which is behind me and I also will leave a copy of it in the description down below as well as some of my other products that you might find really valuable but the formula is completely free and that's going to teach you some of the fundamentals to drive in not just traffic but how to drive sales to your website online but i do really hope that you found this video useful and if you did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day make sure you download the formula and i will see you soon